Go ahead. What is up, guys? It is Anthony, a.k.a. Fake Jason. Fake Jason Paranormal. Um, we are here. This is November 11th, 2020. We, if you can look in the background, we're up here in the Comstock, and this is the Donovan Mill. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely going to be cool, a different experience, because every time we've been up here, it's been, uh, we've been with other groups. You know, we've been up here with, you know, NNGH, and then, um, you know, uh, live streams with the Haunted Side. Uh, got to come up here with the new reality and the Haunted Side. So, it's going to be a little different because um, there's just two of us. It's just me and Jess. Um, so this is kind of like being up here again for the first time. Uh, definitely one of our biggest locations that we've, uh, got to investigate at, um, solo. So, uh, we got, uh, we got a couple things set up in the, in the office. Um, uh, we got some lights set up in the mill. Um just up on that second deck up there as you go in just for shadow play um back in the zinc room uh we're gonna put one of the uh we're gonna put one of these little cat balls uh back there and i also have uh, my bell um, set up back there so trying to uh maybe get some interaction with it i put it back in the old part of the mill on you know, uh, private investigations. I've had it up on the second level. Now we're gonna put it back in the back room with uh, with John. Uh, yeah, uh, let's get this party started. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun tonight. We got no time limits. We got the whole place to ourselves, and I got the keys to the palace. Uh, so join us. Episode number four, Donovan Mill. And before I forget, I'll, I'll probably do it at the end of the video too, but I'll do it now. Um, thank you to Steven Saylor of the Comstock Foundation uh, for allowing us in the Donovan Mill tonight. Uh, everything that we do um, for NNGH, all the private events that we have here at the mill, all our um, ghost tours up at uh, Gold Hill Hotel, all that money goes into preserving this mill. Um, this bridge, this wasn't here before. This was built by the money that everyone that's come and investigated with us up at Gold Hill, anyone that's come and uh, done the private tours. Um, this is what your money's going into. Your money's going into things like this. It's going into... Uh, preserving uh, this piece of Nevada history. Um, there's only four of these mills left on the Comstock. Um, you got the Donovan Mill right here, down the road, probably not even like half a mile. Uh, you have the Dayton Mill. Then if you continue up the road a couple miles, uh, going towards Gold Hill, you have um, the Comstock Mill. And then last but not least, you have the Crown Point Mill. So that's another place we're hoping to get into. Um, but yeah, all your money, guys, it's, I mean, NNGH, none of it goes back to us. It all stays here on the Comstock. So for everyone that's, um, donated, we definitely, definitely thank you. Cause that's my, uh, that's my first home, uh, NNGH. That's where I got my start. And then like I said, we ran with the whole fake Jason. Go get your merch online, Teespring. Jason Paranormal Collection. So we got some pretty cool shit up there. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, kick this off and we will see you inside the office. All right, bye. What's up guys? We are inside the office here at the Donovan Mill. Um, of course, everybody's got to know this room by now. Um, this is the, uh, the chair, not the chair, because that chair is in the other room and it's it's in pieces. So it's definitely seen better days. But this chair has also moved. 
I don't know, it's something about um, this spot right here. Uh, let's do a EVP session, maybe. Or the SSP7 spare box. Go ahead and try that. Is there anybody in here with us? Mrs. Donovan, are you here? Is anybody in here? Come up. Come interact with these little toys right here. Don't let us know that you're here. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? Anything we can do for you? Do you like all the attention and all the people that keep coming up here? <laughs> I need to put it in shape. <laughs> Is there anybody here with us? Come, come and communicate. Can you hear it? Yeah. I don't have that idea. Come talk to me in this box right here. Just to let you know that, you know, you come say something. Do you not like me sitting in your chair? Do you want me to switch chairs? It's like a, it's like a little thing. You want me to move over to this chair? Over here? Is that better? Come on, maybe that was me. Yeah, that could have been me. Come on over here. A little ball right here. Oh, whoa. Maybe you shook the table. I don't know. All I did was just set it right there. You come sit over here. Don't let me know that you're here. You can sit and have a conversation. If this is too loud, I've got another device that we can try and communicate to you with. I don't think it's a bad idea because that was me. It's not paranormal. <laughs> Debunked. Debunked. Um, we're going to do a, an EVP session. So when I do my EVP sessions, I said a lot of people sometimes, you know, they'll have them in their hand. They'll kind of like walk around. I like to leave it stationary. Um, it just cuts out, you know, any, any other noises. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll start an EVP session. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. That was weird. That was a tripod. There's this little device here in the tail. You don't have to be afraid of it. It's got a little red light on it. Um, if you come and uh, you can come and talk talk to me with this device and we can communicate with you. Why did you feel the need that you had to take your own life? 
We don't mean any, um, any disrespect. We just want to know if there's anything that you'd like us to tell uh, any of your family. Is there a message that you would like to sort of lay that we can, we can pass on for you? Do you miss your children? Do you miss your husband? We know you were both hardworking. We know that you guys kept this mill running uh, by yourselves for like seven years with no other, no other employees, just you and your husband. That couldn't have been very easy. We're gonna go ahead and play this back and uh, see if we capture anything, okay? All right, well, thank you for your time. This is Anthony and Jess. We are in the office here at the Donovan Mill. It is November 11th, 2020. Is there anybody in here with us? Mrs. Donovan, are you here? John, are you with us? That was the light. That was the light. The light which is off. Right. Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. That was weird. That was a tripod. That There's this little device here in the tail. We don't have to be afraid of it. It's got a little red light on it. Um, if you come and uh, you can come and talk, talk to me with this device, when we can communicate with you. Why did you feel the need that you had to take your own life? We don't mean any um, any disrespect. We just want to know. If there's anything that you'd like us to tell uh, any of your family, is there a message that you would like to sort of lay that we can we can pass on for you? Do you miss your children? Do you miss your husband? We know you were both hardworking. We know that you guys kept this mill running uh, by yourselves for like seven years with no other no other employees, just you and your husband. That couldn't have been very easy. We're gonna go ahead and play this back and uh, see if we capture anything, okay? All right, well, thank you for your time. See, we're going to go ahead and play this back and uh, see if we capture anything, okay? All right, well, thank you for your time. I can't hear it back here. Oh, okay. See if we capture anything, okay? I'm going to just listen. Play this back and uh, see if we capture anything, okay? All right, well, thank you for your time. Did you hear? See, that couldn't have been very easy. We're going to go ahead and play this back and uh, see if we capture anything, okay? All right, well, thank you for your time. Okay, right before I say okay. Uh, see if we capture anything, okay? All right, well, thank you for your time. It sounds like my bell. Oh, I think it's the light, though. I don't know, because I only heard the light that one time. No, I heard it a couple of times. All right. But yeah, it does sound like the bell, but it also sounds like the light. I just don't know why the light is making noise. Yeah. <clears throat> is there anything you want to wanna come say? 
Can you come move something? Or can you come and finish this? Your flashlight's on in your pocket. Ooh. You're flashing everybody. Yeah. I don't know if I did that or probably. I have a flash on the lab in view. One time in Walmart, everybody makes a big deal about it. Just kidding. Can you come make one of these balls light up? Just like that. If you do that, it will let us know that you're near us. You can use the energy from the camera, from the digital recorder, from my phone in my back pocket. No? You sure? Man, you really got it. You got both of them that time. You see, that one goes for a lot longer. Yeah. Maybe the batteries. Hmm. All right, so what, you know what we're gonna do? Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into the mill, but just for, uh, just for shits and giggles. I'm gonna leave my phone in here recording um, to see if we can't maybe get some interaction. Don't bump it. Okay. So I can clearly see Chairs from that angle. What is up, guys? We are walking through the mill. See, I got. Ooh, hello. Is there anybody up there? Sounds like we can hear you moving around. Is there anything you'd like to, to say to us? And there's no wind tonight. No. There's quite a bit of dust on the camera. Yeah, it's the only way to hold that to know. Is there anybody in here with us?
What is it? Uh, well, no, it was because of the way I was angled right here. There's like a shadow on the wall. And my new boy is. <laughs> that is Big Jason giving himself a heart attack. If there's anybody in here, can you come walk down this walkway right here? This is the part that's kind of like nerve wracking. Because normally when we're in here, like these lights that you see above me on this, this second, this mezzanine right here, uh, usually we probably have about eight or nine of those uh, set up. Um, so, you know, people don't, like me, uh, fall and break their full ass neck on anything. Because they are, like I said, they are renovating this place. They are rebuilding it. Um, but it's pitch black. Like, it is... Yeah, it's kind of unnerving because it feels like something's like down there watching you. So if you're back there, come up here. Come, uh, come talk to me. You not like having people in here? What would you do if I, uh, if I picked up this bag of ore over here and just, uh, just took it without permission? Can I go ahead and go put it in my car? Don't like they don't like it and they just leave you a mess um, leave you a mess with the ore so me being me um, I kind of go and poke the bear every once in a while <laughs> hey thank you for this uh, for this ore right here I greatly appreciate it hope you don't mind I'm just gonna Take it over here and back up my car and put it in the back. Thank you. Put that right there and see what happens. <laughs> you just kicked up a bunch of dust in front of the camera. Yeah. Anybody back up there? Somebody's up there. Go ahead and walk between the mills right there, the stamps and the lights, and uh, we'll see you. You definitely don't have to be afraid. You know who I am. I've been in here numerous times investigating with other groups. But I did hear that there's a caretaker, or there was a caretaker here. His name is Tom. And for whatever reason, he doesn't really uh, seem to like me all too much. And I probably shouldn't stand underneath that thing in case he wants to knock that board off and take care of me that way. I don't know what we're going to do in any two sessions, Tom. Since we've never really acknowledged him. <laughs> this is Anthony and Jessica. We are in um, front part over by the stamps here in the Donovan Mill. Is there a caretaker here by the name of Tom? Is there anything that you would like to tell me?
Could you do something to let me know that you're here? Can you come throw something? Or can you come bang on something to let me know that you're here? Why don't you like me? I heard that John back there in the zinc room's kind of been looking out for me. So is there something that I did? Or do I remind you of somebody that you don't like? Did you hear that? Ooh, I did. That came from. Sounds like something. Someone's dragging something up there. Yeah. Are you looking down on me right now? I got. I mean, I know it's cold out, but I got like full blown fucking goosebumps. Can you come say hello? You know, I've got a bell back there in the very back room, back in the zinc room. And if you could ring that, I would be totally happy. That would make my evening. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to listen to this, Tom. Hopefully, maybe you communicated to us, or maybe somebody else did. Maybe it was John, or maybe it's Mrs. Donovan. Now, I will say, if there is anybody in here, that was easy. If there is anybody in here, you are more than welcome to come and interact with me in whatever way you see fit. You want to come and, you know, tug on my beanie or tug on the back of my, my sweatshirt. If you just want to come and tap on something, just to let us know that you're here. Um, man, we would love that. All right? Thank you. Let's see what we got. This is Anthony and Jessica. We are in um, the front part over by the stamps here at the Donovan Mill. Is there a caretaker here by the name of Tom? Is there anything that you would like to tell me? Could you do something to let me know that you're here? Can you come throw something? Or can you come bang on something to let me know that you're here? Why don't you like me? that John back there in the zinc room has kind of been looking out for me. So is there something that I did? Or do I remind you of somebody that you don't like? Yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah, I heard that on him. That came from Are you looking down on me right now? I got, I mean, I know it's cold out, but I got like full blown fucking goosebumps. Can you come say hello? You know, I've got a bell back there in the very back room, back in the zinc room. And if you could ring that, I would be totally happy. 
That would make my evening. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to listen to this, Tom. Hopefully, maybe you communicated to us or maybe somebody else did. Maybe it was John or maybe it's Mrs. Donovan. Now, I will say if there is anybody in here, that was me. If there is anybody in here, you are more than welcome to come and interact with me in whatever way you see fit. If you want to come and, you know, tug on my beanie or tug on the back of my my sweatshirt, if you just want to come and tap on something, just to let us know that you're here, um, man, we would love that. All right? Thank you. Nothing on there except for that loud noise that we heard back right there. So like I said, if there's somebody here, I'm just going to demonstrate what you can do. You want to let us know you're here to do something like this. That's all you got to do. Pretty simple. Keep the ball rolling. We're going to go back in the back. Yeah, I'm a little dirty from picking up that water. See what I mean, guys, by it just being dark in here? Like, that's more than I can see. So if I were to take this. That's what I see right now. Absolutely nothing. Although, that looks pretty cool. Just because it's lit up from those four lamps that we have up there. I'll turn this back on so we don't break our four nicks. All right. So you guys, they got all kinds of wood around here. Like I said, they're right now they're working on this area. They have a bunch of scaffolding back there. Look at all that ore. Man, I bet you I can really have a heyday with this stuff. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Was that behind us or in front of us? Behind us. Do you mind if I take some more home with me? Hmm. Look, down there. Where? Down yep. to your left in the pile of wood right there. What? Oh, okay. Never mind. It's just the wind. Yeah. It's bouncing something around. Yeah, but it's weird because nothing else is blowing, it's just that one piece. Yeah, and there's no wind. Yeah, because look at that one over there. So, look at this, guys, okay? So, you got that caution tape over there. It's not doing shit. Look at this one right here. Now, tell me. How is that possible? Not moving. Moving. Are you making this move? Huh. Do you see something? Mm-hmm. What'd you hear? Hear that? What? Something over here. Just listen. You trying to make yourself known? 
Are you trying to muster up enough energy to? You hear that, right? What are you hearing? Can you tell if it's like a scraping or a? Because I'm not hearing anything. It almost sounds like somebody's walking around on the rocks out there, but like dragging their feet as they walk. You heard it that time. Go back over there. Yeah. We gotta make sure that it's not the, the fleshies, because it is just us. There is nobody else here. I said I have the proverbial key to the kingdom. What? The door is open. 